Hello my friends, today we are on Luminar Neo and we are going to take a look at the newest extension from Neo and that is Noiseless AI. To install Noiseless AI you have to go over this uh, puzzle piece over here and it will show up next to your HDR. You have to already have installed HDR otherwise Noiseless is not going to work. So make sure you install HDR and then Noiseless. This is where you will install it. And then after you install it, you will find it into the extensions over here. So this is noiseless. Once I open it, then you are found with these uh, tabs. This is low, medium, and high. And Luminar Neo analyzes your image and recommends which setting will work for your image. Now, this is a heavily cropped image of a hummingbird. And it does have a lot of noise. I am going to zoom in even more. And it is very, very noisy. I am sorry about the background noise, but I do have construction going on. And let's talk a little bit. We have low, medium, and high. As you can see, Neo recommends that we use low for this image. So I'm just going to click on low. Once you click on low, uh, Neo is going to analyze your image and remove the noise. So this is the result. This is the before, this is the after, before and after. As you can see, it did a really good job, but it's not perfect. It's still, there still has some noise in there. If you need to reduce mo noise even more, you can always use these sliders to increase the noise reduction. And you can also recover original details. This is gonna bring back some of the details, but if you go all the way to 100, then you will introduce back some of that noise. I'm just gonna reset that. And then you can also add some sharpness. This slider doesn't seem to be doing too much at this point. So I will keep it. I'm just going to reset it and do the low as they recommend. And this is the result. Now, is this better than what we already had on Neo? Well, let's check this out. Let's take a really good look at what it looks like in here. And actually, you know what? Let's just restart from the beginning. I'm going to reset it and this is what I'm going to do. I am going to click D to duplicate this layer. Then I'm going to hide the top layer. Onto the bottom layer, I am just going to use the noiseless AI and use the low setting as they recommended. Great. And now on the top layer, I am going to show it and we will use just the normal. I'm going to hide the bottom one, by the way, so it doesn't interfere with our image. And then with the top layer, we're just going to use the denoise tool that already comes with the program and you do not have to pay money for it. So let's see if we increase the luminosity noise, I can go even to 100. And that makes it very smooth, but that is too smooth. So let's bring it down. That was too much. Never go to 100. So let's see 76, 53. That one looks pretty good at 53. Maybe even a little bit of color noise, even though I don't see much. No, we don't need that. The denoise will keep it at 25. Can we boost it a little bit? All right. And that honestly doesn't look bad to me. So let's see if I hide this layer to compare with the one below or we just use the AI noiseless. So I'm going to hide the layer. Oh, I got to make the other one visible. So this is with noiseless AI. And then this one is with just the noise reduction. And honestly, I think I like the regular one better than the AI. I'm going to hide it again. So the AI still has some noise. This one, I feel like I removed more of it. So in this case, for me, I think uh, just the regular noise uh, reduction on Neo was pretty good. Like I don't feel like I need that noise less. Like it didn't do that much better of a job. Actually, I feel like uh, it did worse. Now let's compare it with Topaz Denoise. And some of these um, examples I will show you might surprise you. So this is the same image. I'm just going to duplicate my layer in Photoshop, Command J, and I will go to Topaz Labs and Denoise. And I'm just going to use the default, whatever they suggest. And then we'll go over one more example. And I want to show you something interesting. 
So I will just accept the default settings. And now I will zoom in quite a lot so we can see what's happening. So this is our uh, denoised image. Let me hide this panel. This was the before, this is the after. Now Topaz in this case did a way, way better job I feel than Neo. The background is way smoother, but then we didn't lose any details. Look at the eye of the bird, actually it became sharper. We gain detail into the subject, but the background is smoother and all the noise is gone. I don't see any noise in the background. Let me just zoom even more so you can see this is like we're getting pixel level now. You can see every single pixel. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So Topaz definitely did a better job here. Now I'm going to show you a different example and this might shock you a little bit. Let's go to this image. This is just an image I took in a market in New York. I am going to go to edit and we will zoom in quite a lot here. Let's go to 200%. I want to get fill the frame with this clock. And it's loading. And as you can see, this is a very, very noisy image. Come on, Neil, work with me. It didn't completely load. We have this blurry part over here. Let me go back to catalog, open it again, and then edit. And I'm going to zoom at 200%. There we go. All right. So now we have this noisy, noisy clock. Now let's go to noiseless ROM and it says we can use the middle adjustment for this image. So I will just click on the middle and see how it does. And it did pretty good. We are looking here there. Nothing is really sharp or anything like that, but look at the noise. This is the before and this is the after. This is the before. This is the after. And I think that's a beautiful, beautiful job. Now let's see the same image here into um, Topaz Denoise. So here's the clock. I'm all zoomed in. You see, this is the same image. So I am going to zoom in to fill my image with the clock, just like we did the Neo. Like that. And now I will duplicate my layer, Command J, and go to Filter, Topaz Lab, and Denoise. AI. And when I tried this, I was for sure the Tobas was going to do way better because I've been using Tobas now for years and, you know, I trust it and I use it almost on every single image. And this one, it kind of threw me off the loop. Let's see. And there we go. We are on Photoshop and this is our before and this is after. Now, what I'm noticing is the topaz did sharpen my image more, so the numbers look sharper, but I have some artifacts. Look around the number 12, the 11, the 10, just around the numbers and over here. There are some little artifacts around the 4 and 3, around here. And I don't know why this happened. I've never really, as far as I can tell, had problem with topaz giving me artifacts. But for this image, it did versus Neo the noiseless raw has no artifacts. So of course it didn't sharpen the image. Let's see if we sharpen manually. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. So it didn't sharpen it, but it did remove the noise and it's all even with no artifacts. It just looks a lot more natural. So in this case, I think that even though this looks so much sharper, the fact that I have those artifacts, I don't like it. So in this case, I feel like the noiseless um, AI did so much better. And um, I was going before I saw this image because I tried a whole bunch of images and took them through this process. And I was going to make a review saying that, you know what? You should probably not spend the money to get noiseless raw because Topaz Denoise works so much better, which in my case has been working, you know, really, really well. And most of the tests I've done, it does work better than Noiseless Raw. But this image and a couple of more, I think I had one more, I was surprised to see the Noiseless gave me a more natural result and I had some artifacts with Topaz. So it's up to you to think if you want to spend the money on this and if it's worth it or not. I'm not going to tell you it's worth it, it's not worth it. 
all I can tell you is it does a decent job and in some cases it did better than Topaz Denoise. Just uh, wanted to put that out there and show you how to use it and you know how it works. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I'll see you in my next video.